When the Homestake, the oldest, deepest, and longest operating gold mine in the Western Hemisphere, closed its doors in 2002, what happened to 126 years' worth of records? I'm Carolyn Weber, Deadwood History's Assistant Director, and I will now tell you where you can find the Black Hills' finest collection of historical documents in this Deadwood Historic Preservation Moment. The Homestake Adams Research and Cultural Center, or HARC for short, opened to the public in 2011 with the main purpose of preserving and making available hundreds of thousands of original records documenting the history of the Black Hills and the Homestake Gold Mine. The archival collections include maps and drawings of the Black Hills region, over 45,000 historic photographs, slides, and glass plate negatives, the James Noble Geological Collection of over 1,500 lithology samples, diaries, scrapbooks, and correspondence, sheet music, playbills, and business directories, blueprints, and architectural drawings, and legal documents detailing civil and criminal litigation, water rights actions, and railroad concerns. When Barrick Gold Corporation donated the Homestake Mining Company records to Deadwood History's Adams Museum in 2005, it became clear a new climate-controlled building was necessary in order to properly care for and make the records accessible to the public. To that end, the City of Deadwood's Historic Preservation Commission committed over $1.6 million to purchase and transform a 17,000 square foot building into a research and cultural center. The records at the Hark are extensive, broad-reaching, diverse, and historically, scientifically, and culturally rich. Black Hills pioneer attorney Henry Frawley's records of criminal activities, including cattle and sheep rustling, prostitution, questionable land dealings, and murder, cover a wide swath of early frontier law. The Fassbender photographic collection of over 800,000 images includes striking photographs of such historical events as the carving of Mount Rushmore and President Calvin Coolidge's summer White House are housed at the Hark and under the ownership of the cities of Deadwood, Leed, and Spearfish. The second floor of the Hark is multifaceted and includes a lecture hall and classrooms. The Hark regularly hosts classes, workshops, conferences, traveling exhibitions, and lectures. Through the numerous public programs offered at the Hark, you can come face to face with Captain Jack Crawford. Learn how to create the right soil in your garden to grow prize-winning flowers and vegetables. Hear music performed by local and national artists. And discover the behavioral habits of the wildlife that roam through the Black Hills. The Hark is a place for research, fellowship, inspiration, and lifelong learning. Please join us for our next Deadwood Historic Preservation Moment. Thank you.